Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, I hope everybody has a nice and safe long weekend. CBOT is closed on Monday for President's holiday. As far as news overnight, a lot of misinformation coming out of both U.S., NATO, and Russia about potential invasion of the Ukraine. Uh, U.S. says it could be any time soon, um, and both U.S. and NATO is not backing down from approving some of the requests by Russia not to invade um, Ukraine. Uh, there was talk about Ukraine pulling troops out of Crimea, but there continues to be a strong presence along the eastern and southern borders of Ukraine. The um, markets, again, stocks are higher, wheat's off a little bit, crude's down another $2, uh, making this week uh, one of the biggest losses that crude oil has seen in a long time, down 10%. As far as the grains fundamentals are concerned, again, we're looking at South America, uh, many people dropping uh, both the corn and soybean crops in both Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. And the question is how much of that loss uh, the USDA will actually admit to over the next two months, and also how much of that will be shifted uh, to the United States. Yesterday's uh, soybean, old crop, and new crop export sales came in higher than expected, uh, with uh, China 40% of the old crop and 90% of the new crop sales. And I think that many people feel that the Chinese crushers have very little coverage after March uh, for the beans that they need. I also think that from a weather standpoint, uh, South America, Argentina, uh, southern Brazil, Paraguay will be dry and warm, at least for another week. The second week of the forecast is trying to bring in uh, rains in southern Brazil and Argentina. Uh, the rains continue in the northern Brazil and delaying the plantings of the second and third corn crop. We also know here in the United States, the big storm that moved across uh, parts of the Delta, Southeast, and South, uh, and the uh, Eastern Corn Belt. Um, the exact same type of system is forecast for next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So uh, eventually we could see some flooding in the Delta, the Tennessee Valley, and the Ohio River Valley area, which could delay early plantings there. Uh, the Southern Plains remains uh, mostly dry, and yesterday NOAA came out with their three-month outlook suggesting dry and warm conditions for the U.S. Southern Plains. The market's going to also be looking for next week's uh, annual USDA Outlook Conference, and their first uh, guess um, unofficial of the 2022-23 U.S. corn, soybean, and wheat supply and demand. Uh, so they, uh, they'll be on the hot seat as far as whether they're going to show uh, acres, yield, production, and demand um, it's similar to what the privates are using. And uh, in the case of soybeans, 22-23 could be even tighter than 21-22. As always, uh, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM, AD Investment Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. Remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.